All right, this is a follow-up to my video on paint. Um, brief recap. Last year, I did the legs with this paint. You can see it's got a cylindrical top. Um, then I bought some more paint when I was on my last can of this. And I, the couple cans I bought had this kind of a top with the indentations for helping you pinch and pull the top off. They are the same paint description. I believe they're the same um, barcode SKU number. But I seem to have different results. So what I've got here is the leg and the horseshoe that I printed last year. They've been sitting in a plastic container for a year. Um, not much airflow through that container, I will admit, if that has anything to do with it. So it's not going to be an apples to apples comparison here. But this is the ankle that I printed three or four weeks ago with the new style cap with the finger indentations. And you can see the reflection of my overhead uh, light in that ankle. Um, this one no matter how I lean over here, I'm not seeing that reflection. Uh, what you might be able to see, but I'm not sure, and keep in mind I don't know how tight this ankle fits into the leg, so I only slid it halfway up. I didn't want to cram it all the way up until I'm ready to actually glue it. Put your ankle bracelet on first. Don't forget, there's a bracelet that slides over the leg, and then you glue your ankle on. And if you forget to slide that ankle bracelet on, you have to cut it so you can put it two pieces and glue it back together to get it around the leg. Anyway, um, so this part here is just been uh, taped up most of the time with a little bit of, of filler material on it, but I tried to keep it fairly clean of paint because it's going to be epoxy uh, between the inside of the ankle and that part of the leg. But what you might be able to see is a difference in color. And that's what is really kind of ticking me off. This white is almost a little bit, is kind of an off white compared to this. This newer paint seems to be more of a, of a white, more of a, I guess, bright white compared to this one, which is, seems it's more of a, I mean, the finish is obviously part of that. The finish is more matte finish but it also looks darker and I don't know if that's just because um, of the lighting the way the lighting is bouncing off the finish uh, when I had this in my room where I have my printer it was more noticeable the difference in color here on film it's gonna look different and I take this outside to see if it would show better outside and I mean, you can see a difference, but it just, it varies by what kind of light, but you know, all paint, you know, looks different depending on what, you know, kind of light. And there's a good example right there, as you can see, as I'm going over the blue, you can definitely see that uh, Duplicolor Sonic Blue Pearl, you can see some shine and that has no clear coat on it. That's just the Sonic Blue Pearl right out of the can. And then you should roll over and you should see that same light spot pass over the leg. But it's you can't see it because it's more of a, a satin on the side of matte finish. Whereas this, it's obvious. You can see that, that light because it's more of a gloss. So this, I printed in the newer white. And I had some couple little drips and then when I found the older paint I decided okay so I wet sanded this with 400 grit sandpaper I didn't do a really thorough job I just kind of scuffed over the top and then I took it outside and I painted it with the older style paint that I found at my one of my two close Ace Hardware stores still has some of the old caps and it was windy so Again, the ankles I did when there was no wind, and there was wind here, and I didn't put quite as heavy a coat, I don't think, on this. But this is the old, the new paint that I just bought 
with the old cap and I can see light on there. So it's almost as if there's three different finishes here. You've got the legs that are a matte finish. You've got the ankles that are semi-gloss and you've got this center foot shell that seems to be what I would think is a satin, right? There's, there's, you can see a shine on it, but you can't really identify. I mean, yeah, okay, you can, you know, that's that's got to be from an overhead light, but it's not focused. It's just kind of diffused over the surface, whereas this ankle, it's just blatantly, you know, there's there's the there's that dot just going across the surface of the leg. And especially, yeah, if I, well, I don't know if I can get the camera angle. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, there's the overhead light on the back of the ankle printed with the new cap paint. And then there it is. And if I move the leg down, it should move down and you should see it on the back of the leg and the back of the leg just kind of gets a bit brighter, but it's definitely not. You don't see that circle. Let me pull back. Hopefully this focuses. Again, I'm doing this one hand on the camera, one hand on the part. Circle. And then just kind of goes into, disappears, just kind of gets a little bit brighter on the back. You can almost see the circle there. But yeah, so a follow-up. I do believe that there is a difference in the paints. I do believe that if you started using this kind of paint, you should stay with this kind of cap if you can find it. Um, this one, I really think that something has changed in the formula, the new squeeze tops, and I think that is more of a semi-gloss than a satin to me. It really does seem that way. Now maybe the lot that I got, the couple cans I did of this, um, I honestly don't know how to read the uh, or translate the information on the bottom of the can. But maybe there was a lot that uh, had some issues. I don't know. But it puts me in this in a place where I definitely like the look of this center foot shell after I've gone back over it. But do I want to go over all three ankles, right, left, and center, to see if I can, you know, tone that down a bit so it matches the leg better? I mean, it is going to be right up to the leg. There will be the silver ankle bracelet, so it's kind of a break between the two parts. So that'll kind of reduce how obvious that is. And... You know, most of the time when you're seeing the leg, you're going to be seeing it from the side, right? And remember this, this ugly patch here is where I'm going to put epoxy to put the ankle detail on. Um, so most of the time you'll be seeing it on the side and it's like, I'm just, I'm just hesitant since it's a fairly decent paint job that I did to cover all that, mask all that stuff up again. And then either redo by hand, which I did with small brush. I sprayed some of the uh, Sonic Blue Pearl onto a little piece of cardboard and then used an artist brush to do that by hand. I made a chip there because I used Elmer's glue as masking fluid, which worked really good, except I dug with my fingernail to pull the Elmer's glue off and this is on both sides of both ankles. This, just one out of four, I dug in a little bit with my fingernail and I took white paint off, so I'm going to have to touch that up. Um, part of it might be that these, again, were only dried for a couple weeks when I did that work, and maybe they should have been dried for longer. But anyway, yeah, do I want to spend the time... When I really want to get this project moving, do I want to spend the time to sand, mask, and respray the three ankles so their finish is 
an in-between because you kind of do end up with three different finishes there. I will say again that that one surprised me when I just did this test today how off-white it seems compared to these other two pieces and again it's gonna depend on your angle the angle the lights hitting everything is is affecting that obviously and even the the finished satin or semi gloss or whatever is gonna affect that but it, it is kind of evident that the the leg is not as white as I thought especially compared to that ankle that ankle is just very white and this is seems to be close to that white but maybe a little bit off but the leg is just yeah definitely off and there's no way I'm gonna reprint the leg I am NOT gonna repaint the legs and the horseshoes um, I'm just not <laughs> I'd have to mask that off mask the silver in there that I also did by hand with a brush I used um, masking tape to keep the silver inside the uh, indentations but at, at this point I'm seriously to the point where I want to get this thing moving and if he ends up having slightly shiny ankles then I think I'm okay with that and I think that only the hardcore probably R2 builders will even notice if I don't point it out to anyone But something, yeah, I just wanted to post another video now that I've got another can of that old paint. And see what it looks like over the top of the newer cap paint. Compared with the leg from last year and the ankle from last month.